I think this one's kind of hard, but let's go to the lines first, see what they can tell us before we start thinking about the transitions. So the first part says, although those who migrated to California in 1849 dreamed of finding gold nuggets in stream beds, the state's richest deposits were buried deeply in rock beyond the reach of individual prospectors. So they had dreams, but they couldn't get there, right? Beyond their reach. So there is a contrast. The word although is kind of getting it, right? They had a positive and then there's a negative, but that's what the, in that one sentence. Let's continue. By 1852, many had given up their fortune hunting dreams and gone to work for one of the large companies capable of managing California's complex mining operations. So giving up is also kind of negative. So I think some of us are going to be drawn to choice B, which I think of as a trap. It's a contrast, and we do see there's this positive and negative. They dreamed of one thing, but they gave up on their dreams. So I think we might be drawn to that. But the contrast is kind of already taken care of in the first sentence. We need something else. There is no transition between the end of the first sentence and the second one, right? Those are both negative. So a contrast word doesn't really make sense here. Um, I just think that at first glance, a lot of us are going to lean towards that. Um, furthermore is kind of an empty transition word. It doesn't really transition at all. It's just the same thing as saying and. So I think that there's a tighter connection here. Um, and might be right if there's nothing else, but we do, I think, want a slightly more specific word. Next, though, is too specific. This is obviously getting into time, and I know that they mention 1849 and 1852, um, but we already, the next is already kind of covered by just the mentioning of the year, so it's kind of redundant to say it again. What we want is the word consequently, which is equivalent to the word so, and, and I think this is the benefit of taking these complicated words and replacing them with the simpler version is that we might be able to hear why this is right just from using the simple word, right? So let's let's look at it again. Um, Although those who migrated to California in 1849 dreamed of finding gold nuggets in stream beds, the state's richest deposits were buried deeply in rock beyond the reach of indiv individual prospectors. So by 1852, many had given up their fortunes, uh, fortune hunting dreams and gone to work for one of the large companies capable of managing California's complex mining operations. To simplify it, the gold was beyond the reach of the individuals, so the individuals went to work for big companies. Right there, I, I kind of simplified it, but it's very clear that it's a so, right? They couldn't get there on their own, so they worked for a company that could. Um, it's a tricky one because I think it's a complex one, um, but I, you notice my theme here is by reducing the complexity and trying to understand it in a dumber, simpler way, we're able to kind of see through everything and, and really get to the heart of what they're asking. And then I think it's much more obvious that we need a kind of so cause and effect kind of word.